Hello there, and welcome back to Total OS today. Total technology for beginners and beyond. Well, if you're interested in something based on Linux for beginners, you may want to take a look at KDE Neon, a lightweight Linux based KDE desktop. And I never thought I would put the words lightweight and KDE in the same sentence, but I'm impressed. It runs very fast, very lightweight, at least in a virtual environment. I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 as the host. So let's take a look at this. This is, uh, like I said, lightweight. If we go to the system monitor, and I do like the fact that right out of the box, you can type anything, start typing and search something. In this case, SYS to system monitor and it's using a little bit more megabytes now but when i first booted this up inside the virtual box it was less than 400 megabytes of ram and that is impressive because i only allotted one and a half gigs inside the virtual environment and since my machine here that i'm testing this here is outdated just four gigabytes of ram a dual core and it's running pretty good for a kde type desktop I think it's terrific so let's move along here and see what we have this is the default desktop here of course KDE is KDE type of desktops they are famous I guess you can say that for their for their widgets or I think they're called plasmoids mm. plasmoids you can drag and drop little widgets here on the desktop such as the such as the clock and I think you can change this if you right click some options here alternatives uh, yeah, digital clock if you want to switch. Again, very user friendly. You can add some other things too. Of course, the more you add, the more RAM usage, the more RAM you'll be using. But just to give you an example of how this works, if you change your mind and don't want this on here, you can just highlight it, right click, and remove, in this case, remove the audio volume, and you can undo it. So again, very, very user friendly. Uh, panel at the bottom, you can change the height of this whether you wear glasses or not, or need glasses, the screen edge, you can, of course, move it if you want to. I'll just keep it at the bottom for now. And I will mention that if you do this as a full install, this will run even faster, smoother. But so far in a virtual environment, this really isn't bad at all. I'm, like I said, I am impressed. Audio volume settings, audio volume, applications, recordings, again, the usual, nothing confusing here. If you go to the start button as I call it or the K launcher, KDE launcher, you have different options here. I was playing with this. This actually looks pretty cool here, but if you right click and wanted something more simple, let's go to um, yeah, I wanted alternatives. And let's go to uh, I believe this is the one I, ch I had chosen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think for beginners, this might be the best way to go. You, you do get a search bar here at the bottom. If you go to the desktop, of course, you can right click and um, you have some options here, including again to add widgets or you can add a panel. If you go to configure desktop and you have a plethora of wallpaper choices, a grand total of one. Like I said, this one's lightweight, but you can go to get new wallpapers again, very easy. Uh, let's see what we have here. Anything catches my eye? Oh, this one looks colorful. Let's try that one. Let's click install. This will install, and you can choose to keep it or uninstall it. Oh, actually, in this case, could not be found. Okay, fine. Let's try a different one. Uh, that looks colorful, too. We'll try that one. Hibiscus. Then we'll move along. So that's how you install wallpapers. Well, one way to install wallpapers on a Linux desktop. And installing, installing, could not be found. Like I said, wallpapers are a complete waste of time in Linux. Can't believe of all things to fail is freaking wallpapers. No big deal. Moving along, let's see what is installed here. Okay, graphics, and it's empty. Okay, Gwenview, <laughs> Internet, Firefox, Multimedia, VLC, Settings. Let's take a let's take a look at System Settings. Okay, this is somewhat somewhat similar to Control Panel in Windows. So again, it's basic stuff. Yeah. Moving along, let's see. 
we got settings, system, uh, the Dolphin file manager, very robust file manager for lack of a better word. Uh, this pretty much is the all-in-one file manager. You have complete control over this in terms of user friendliness depending on your point of view. Yeah, it's a pretty good file manager in my opinion. Oh, let's see. What else do we have here? Spectacle under utilities. All right, full screen, no delay. Take a screenshot. Okay, nothing unusual there. Power session and some shortcuts here to the left. You can right click and edit this if you want to, but I think I'll leave this the way it is. So again, there really isn't a lot that comes installed by default with this, but again, the main thing I'm doing this video is to show you guys that this is a fairly lightweight Linux distribution for KDE, something with a lot of flash and color, which normally takes up at least 800 megabytes of, of RAM at startup. But this is not bad at all. And so far, even in a virtual box, it, it really doesn't run too bad. So if you wanted to take a look at something colorful, for lack of a better term, even though you can't download a lot of wallpapers out of the box, I'm, I'm not sure why, why that's the case, but it's no big deal. You can just search online for wallpapers. So yeah, take a look at KDE Neon. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. So definitely something to consider. Well, that's all I have for this one. If you haven't already subscribed, support this Total West Today channel, don't forget to click that like button too. And uh, that's it. If there's something you want me to take a look at, just post it in your comments below. And once again, uh, Happy New Year. I'll catch you guys later. Be safe.